Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. We are in a section of scripture in the Gospel of Mark where Jesus is talking about what we often refer to as the end times. Uh, the big fancy religious word is eschatology, or the study of the things of the end. Uh, and here Jesus has been talking to his disciples about things that will take place, what it will look like, what signs to look for. Um, and and it, it's very interesting. I'd like to finish up this discourse about the end times by reading Mark chapter 13, verses 28 through 37. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. Is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home, he puts his slave in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, for else he may find you asleep, when he comes suddenly. And I say, and, and what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. So here Jesus has been going on uh, for many verses. Uh, we've gotten through 27 verses, um, or, and then to, to talk about the fig tree, and then another three verses. So he goes 31 verses talking about signs of the end of the age, or the end times, or when he's going to return, or when his work is going to be complete. Because, you know, we have that whole thing that this generation won't pass away until these, these things occur. Well, obviously, you know, the end times didn't occur, but yet the beginning of those end times did occur because with Jesus, his life, death, and resurrection, we're now living in the last days. No matter how long God wants those last days to go on, we're there because uh, sin and death have been defeated through Jesus Christ. But we do know that he will come again someday, uh, and he's kind of been talking about some of those signs that we need to be thinking about. But then he says, he puts this disclaimer on it all. It's this giant asterisk at the end of all these signs, all these things to be looking for. But of the actual time and day, no one knows. The angels don't know. Even the Son doesn't know. Uh, the, only the Father knows when the Son will come back. And I think this is important. Because as Christians, we can place so much energy on trying to discern when Jesus will be coming back. Or we'll be so certain that he's going to come back any minute that it changes the way that we treat each other. The way we treat people or, or, or how uh, intense we are about the mission that God has placed in, uh, uh, for us. So really, I think Jesus here is saying, after giving us these signs, after helping us to, to think through what it means that there, we are living in the last days, he then puts this caveat on there. But you keep doing what you need to be doing. You're not going to know the exact time. You're not going to know the exact hour. Don't waste your time, energy, and breath worrying about that because the Father has that. You worry about doing what I've told you to do. Love God. Love, uh, love your neighbor. Be awake. Don't be sleepy, drowsy on musings of end times. Rather, be awake and about the mission that God has given us. Friends, I hope we can do that today. I hope we can be on the mission that Christ has given us to make his name known, to proclaim salvation in his name, life and meaning in his name, because there is no other. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ. <laughs>